we should gatekeep the genre more because other artists are obviously hopping onto it. But if you don't think we should gate, gatekeep the genre, do you feel like which international artists do you think would do very well on the genre? Which international artist? Yeah, or do you think we should gatekeep? If you think we must gatekeep more, it's okay. But if you feel like, no, we must expand, who do you think would be a great person to put on the genre internationally? Can be from Nigeria, even America, wherever. I think someone who's very, like, diverse and isn't scared of trying new things, uh, it's probably Drake. Drake will definitely hop onto my piano soon enough. You think I think so? he will. Okay. I think that's somebody that we might need. Uh, to just hop on and give us something different and amazing. And I think you'll kill it. I think that's when we'll know that, okay, now if it's low feet, low feet, low feet. You think I feel so? like if we get like a Drake, I'm going to be on a song, then we'd definitely be there. So you mustn't gatekeep? No, I don't think we should gatekeep. There's no reason to gatekeep. It's already out there, out there. There's no reason to. We need to grow it as much as we can. Yeah, and it's the biggest right now anyway, so. Mm, it's so. Yeah, I, I don't think we need, we, we need to gatekeep it. It's just... Let's share it with the right people. Mm. So let's, who would be the right people? Let's share it with the right people, not those ones who come back and say, we got piano from them. I, All the Nigerians. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's share with the right people. And also even collaborate with, with, with Nigerians. I like it. It's just that for me, for me personally, it loses that piano. The minute mm. I hear Banner Boy ku piano, it just doesn't slap for me. It doesn't slap Yeah, the that's, that video did a better job. Well, yeah. Ah, Banner Boy, ah, no. And who is that guy, Platinum Diamond? Ah, that song. For me, once a Nigerian, I think, I think I'm a piano. It's just strictly South African, man. Like, it's for South African. There's a DNA for it. Mm. And Abayans are, they don't even force for me. Mm. So it's okay. Those who can do overseas, who would I want him to do piano? Because he's very talented, I'll give it to Chris Brown. Ah. Mm. Yeah, I think Chris Brown would kill it. Um, one of the persons that would kill it is arrested now, but Who? you can't take it away from him. He can do a beautiful commercial song, R. Kelly. R. Kelly? R. Kelly can do a beautiful commercial song. No, I kid you not. No, dude, not I R. Kelly. I kid you not. He's a rapist. R. Kelly is, uh, apart from that, leave the rape and everything. We're not talking about rape. I mean, I can't separate the artist from what the, from the stuff that he's done, dude. Like, nah, what do you mean? So, do you separate Chris Brown from beating Rehan and come to perform at FNB? Yes. Why? I'm... What do you say? Why? No, guys. No, guys. Guys, you can't. Like, I, I think yes. Sometimes the music and the artist is hard to separate them. But guys, you can't be hitting women. Then I must go and watch your con your concerts. So you are against. I'm supporting. Not that I'm against him, because I do think people change. You can't punish someone forever. But I think in a country where it's like GBV is number one, then you're going to invite someone who literally hits women. There's even potentially a documentary coming out about Chris Brown beating up people. Uh -huh. Do you are understand you, what I'm uh, saying? So are you going to go to the concert or not? I, I, hey, I don't think I'm going. Are we going to see you there or not? You won't see me there. No, I will not be there. Yeah, uh, for me, it's Chris Brown. I'll give it to, if RKL was a decent person to your level, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying he's decent. I'm saying apart from all the crimes that he committed and, and everything else, the talent. Okay. After Arkel, the music in the US just went. No. Mm. Trust me, dog. Okay, no. Especially the R&B, mm. dog. Yeah. I'm really especially, yeah, especially the R&B. Like after Arkel, everything it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse now with your Jay Zs if they end up whatever. You see, yeah. it's just gonna get worse. I get what you're saying. Uh, but my Chris Brown, Arkel, uh, yeah, yeah no because vibe. now we love Chris Brown today. Three years later, when they're done with Chris Brown in the U.S., stories from Chris Brown come out, and we're going to hate Chris Brown the same way we hate our kill now in PDD. Mm. So there's just someone controlling the whole business there. You know, you guys are mentioning, um, I like what you said about, you feel like sometimes the, with, the, with the Nigerians, it can work, it can't work. But I don't know if you guys saw that video, Yazuz, where he was speaking about... Um, how he feels like the Afrobeat artists have really pushed piano to the world. Yeah. You know, so let's, let's speak about that. And he basically said that everybody's contribution outside of the country has had a nice and a, what, what's the right word? Has had a huge impact. Mm. Yeah. I think he's right. I kind of second it. I mean, Zeus is on one person that really travels a lot. You know, um, he's seen mm. what Ampian is doing outside the outside the outside Sata and stuff like that. He's like a mastermind, man. So he knows what he's talking about. I really sick in that. I think I watched the video yesterday. I mm. did, yeah. So you agree with his points? I agree with his points 100%. I really do, fully. 
fully. But I, I don't know, man. That panel, sorry. Sorry, speak first before we no, go to no, the no, panel. Go, go, no, 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 like the shakes and layers, the, the, the in the clip that I saw, I just watched what Zeus was saying. Obviously, he was just mentioning that he feels like um, those artists pushed Amma Piano to the world. It was always going to be do well, but he feels like because they already had that clouds, that momentum, when they started hopping onto the genre, people were like, oh, what's this? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Tolaban, for example. Oh, oh, oh Boy. Yes. Yeah. Like the song was big, but now it's huge. Because of their contribution. Basically, that's yeah. what he was saying. True, true, true. You're and thinking were, a lot, yeah. Zeus. Hmm? You're thinking a lot. What's in your yeah, mind? I know. I, I just don't want to talk about Zeus, but I have my few points that I disagree with. You just don't, don't want, want to talk about Zeus? No, no, no. Oh, why? No, I don't want to talk about him anymore. He asked for me not to talk about him. For us, actually. Oh, yeah. He what did he say? Uh, yeah. What did he say? No, I said we mustn't talk about him. He's asking that we don't talk about him. And he was saying I mustn't talk, we mustn't also talk about his artist. I told him, Mama, man. Good girl in Cabo, whatever. I'm gonna talk about your artists, their talent, their artists, mm. and they do piano. They're our business. But him, I understand. I was just shocked when I saw him on a podcast now. I'm like, oh, mind you. No, but I did tell you that he's not really behind the scenes. I don't want you saying he wants to be. But, but now we're talking about Zeus. Zeus, uh, we are not talking about you. We're not talking about who? We're talking. Zeus is part of the culture. So we're gonna talk yeah, about him. But Zeus. I don't want you to talk about him. Why? Ask him. Bro, Zeus, you part of the culture. We're definitely gonna talk about you. If you make the news, my brother, you, we're going to speak about you. I think he tried... I don't know where he got my number from. I think he tried calling me as well. <laughs> oh! He tried, he tried, he tried he call, calling like, Yeah, but my phone is always on D&D, so you can't reach me. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even reach you, dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never knew quite. Yeah, yeah, my phone yeah. is always on D&D. So um, I think he, he tried to call me and stuff like that. Wada, wada, wada. I don't know what he wanted to say. But like I said, he's part of the cult. We're going to talk about him. He has one of the biggest impacts in Amapiano. We're bound to talk about him. You know, uh, you guys have a good relationship going on, but hey, bra, taba get taba. I don't have a good relationship. What do you mean a good relationship? With, 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 with who? Uh, with those... I'm still waiting for the split sheets. Oh, he owes you? Uh, let's move. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, with what he was saying with regards to Afrobeat artists taking it, do you think that they, they helped us? Nah, no, no, we helped them. That's not relevant. They get gigs if they helped us. Or let's say we helped each other because now Banner Boy had all these songs from South Africa and he said all the way in Europe or whatever. And those songs kept him relevant. Why did he release that is dope after he started doing Jerusalem and 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 and, and, and Tralabam? Last last. What is the last last? No, it was before. Oh. Last I'm saying, last, 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 because of what he's doing internationally. So him saying so that, unignorable. him saying that he's selling himself short because he did most of the work. Who said, who said? Zeus. I'm saying, by him saying Nigeria did it for us. I think for me it's Waffles, uh, Major League DJs. Yeah, Major League, yeah. Major yeah, League yeah, they DJs, overlooked. they're they always the overseas traveling. doing something, you see, for the culture. So no, bro, uh, I, bro, N N Nigerian people, it's fine, we're okay, it's fine. But they don't have to. If you're tired, you can leave it. Okay, cool. You don't have to do it. Mm. Because they, they do the music and we don't enjoy it. Mm. It doesn't sound like a piano when Nigerians do it. Mm. It doesn't sound like piano. Someone that probably can come close in Nigeria to do that, uh, it's probably Tiwa Savage. She can do a beautiful piano song. Uh, yara, Yara something. Yara. Yara something. Who's that? Yara Star, yes. Oh, yeah. oh Aria Star. Aria Star, Aria Star I, yeah. Ira, Ira. It, it's Ira. Yeah, that Ira one. Star. And there's another I one think. that did Omaratona. Um, uh, Oniola. Yes. Oniola. Oh, okay. So those ones, because they sing, they, they, they throw beautiful melodies into a song. Mm. If they do piano, it's going to be a beautiful song. Mm. But the blues that come and rap like Banner Boy, ah, it doesn't slap, though. For me personally, it doesn't slap. Okay. No. Okay.